this thing is smaller vertically than, uh, than my cell phone. Hey folks, what's going on? In this video, I'll be doing a first impressions and unboxing of the Mini Forum UM773 Lite. This is a mini server that has some pretty nice capabilities. It has the ability to go up to 16 cores as well as 64 gigabytes of RAM that is user upgradable, which means you can purchase this with 16 gigs and over time upgrade to say 32 or 64 gigs of RAM. You can also upgrade uh, components like the, SS, the hard drive as well as the Wi-Fi card. So we'll take a look at what all comes in the box and then take a look at the internals. All right, to be fair, this looked a lot better the first time I uh, <laughs> unboxed it. I sort of threw things a bit back in the box. In the box, you do get a disclaimer saying that they recommend that customers don't attempt to remove the CPU cooler. Um, themselves because it could potentially damage the motherboard and the CPU. It could also reduce the liquid metal sealing tightness. Uh, warranty service is not provided for damage caused by improper dismantlement. Let's see, you get some tips as well as a quick start guide. Inside, you also get a power cable that then connects to the actual charger itself, which is pretty sleek, pretty compact, composed uh, as opposed to a lot of laptop chargers you'll find out there nowadays. However, this is on the wide end as opposed to being vertically long. I'll set that over to the side. Here we have the stand that this comes with. Also get an HDMI cable, which is about this long. And then we get the server itself. And oh my gosh. This thing is small. Oh, you also get a, I believe a PCIe Express slot extender. I'm not quite sure what that is, honestly. Um, and then you have this V-mount rail would essentially allow you to mount this device to the back of a monitor. And then lastly, we get some rubber grips for the, the back side of this device. So nice. I'll go ahead and move that to the side. And if I go ahead and take this of the foam. Man, the first thing I notice is this thing is incredibly small. Like, I don't I don't think the camera's doing it justice um, as to how small and compact this device is. I'll show you for instance, this thing is smaller vertically than, uh, than my cell phone. And then if I was to even open my cell phone up into the folded mode, well, this thing is still <laughs> not even as wide as it. Uh, well, about as wide as it, uh, but I think my I think my phone beats it just by a little bit. But wow, that is a pretty compact device. So when we look at it in terms of I/O, what all are we getting? We get a reset button, a power button, a microphone, headphone jack input, two USB Cs. One's USB four. Um, not too sure what the other one is. Um, then you get uh, the charging port. You get the internet port, which is uh, supports up to two, 2.5 gigabytes. You have a total of four more USB ports on the back here. And then you have two display ports, both of which are HDMI. Pretty solid, pretty compact. It has just about all of the necessary ports that you need. I'd even go the far as to say more than enough. Like this is, that's wild. That's well. But enough of the actual initial design. Let me go ahead and open this thing up and see what all comes under the hood. I did get the bare bones model, so I'm actually not expecting anything to be under the hood other than the CPU that it comes with. In this video, I'll be installing myself 64 gigabytes of RAM as well as a one terabyte hard drive. So initially there would be four screws that you take out right here. Uh, but since those have already been removed, I'll go ahead and pop this off. And sweet. Looking on the inside, I really like how they designed the internals. You have easy access to a lot of the, to the user upgradable components. Over here on the left-hand side is the RAM. So you have one RAM slot that's on the bottom there. And then under this heat sink is where your hard drive would reside. So I'll go ahead and remove these two screws in order to access that component. So that is sweet. 
We'll go ahead and pop this off and then boom. Here, we can go ahead and see a close up of those RAM slots as well as the hard drive slot that you would put in. Uh, it needs to be able to fit within this space uh, to go from here to here. And then right under below it is a, an accessible way to access and upgrade your Wi-Fi card. So not only does this have wired internet access, but it also has Wi-Fi access as well, which is pretty cool. So as I mentioned over here, I have to install a one terabyte SSD hard drive just to show what that process would look like. I'll go ahead and pop that in here and angle it as such, push it in until it clicks. There we go. And then I'll push that down and I will screw in this uh, top screw to hold that, that plate down. And so that is installed. I'll then go ahead and pop back on the heat sink plate. I really like how they have it set up. So the, the CPU is not upgradable. And from this initial board, you don't have access to the, to the CPU. So you don't have to worry about, you know, avoiding that warranty unless you pop off these extra four screws and then get access to the other side where the soldered on motherboard would be. I'll we'll go ahead and screw in the screws to this heat sink. Just want to line those up. All right. And now I have 264 gigabytes of RAM that I purchased for Crucial um, that are you know, 56 megahertz, which I got the wrong size because this server actually only ports up to uh, 48 megahertz. Um, so, but Nonetheless, they still work. So I'll go ahead and show you what that process looks like for installing them. All right, I'll do the bottom one first since it's easier to access. Go ahead and plop it in there. And what you wanna do is you wanna force it in until you hear it click. Okay, well, maybe it doesn't click as much as I thought it would. But now you can go ahead and push it down and these pins will automatically lock it in. So I'll do the exact same process for the other one. And if you're curious as to which way you line this up, Honestly, I just go with how it looks like it fits um, because if I tried it this way, it looks like, yeah, it wouldn't be long enough to go in that way. So a little bit of common sense there and go ahead and plug that in until it snaps. All right. And then push down and you're all good to go. At that point, you could put the top back on. I believe the top goes this way facing the this panel right here. That's how I've been memorizing it and then you would be good to go. And then these feet that we saw earlier would help where if you were to put this on a desk uh, horizontally and you wanted to have some rubber grips on it. But yeah, in a nutshell, this is what this device is and what it's capable of. Uh, I think it's pretty dope that you have the ability to upgrade as you go. Start with say lower specs, but still getting and being able to take advantage of the CPU that's inside here that has an eight core, 16 threads, so 16 virtual CPUs, um, that's gonna allow you to do a lot of virtualization and whatnot. For those of you that are in the IT space or uh, whatever use case may be, uh, that may be more resource intensive than uh, some other devices out there. But that is all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are at all curious where to find this device, I will have affiliate links in the description. Uh, full disclaimer, if you purchase using the link, a portion of what you spend will come to the channel of, of course, no cost to you. And that's just what helps me keep pumping out these helpful videos for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, folks, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.